Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rita Alcolo. Today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to achieve this hairstyle, these braids. I was rocking these braids all of last summer and I absolutely love them. I want you guys to definitely check out part one, which is how to properly stretch braiding hair. I show you guys exactly how to take these raggedy looking ends to this, which is going to help you achieve salon perfect ends on your braids, making them look super, super professional. I also use this Shea Butter Moisturizer. It's homemade throughout this entire video. If you guys would like more information on that or a tutorial, just let me know in the comment section. Now there are some ground rules like everything when you are trying to accomplish something. And the first one being working in sections. So I do six sections. I do two on either side of my head, two in the back, and two at the very top and crown of my head. This just helps me to keep things very, very simple and organized. Secondly, you want to ensure that your hair is clean, moisturized, and detangled. As you can see, I can actually run my hand in sections through my hair. So I'm using a rat tail comb, I'm moisturizing my hair, but you can see I'm also not using the rat tail comb to comb my hair, really. I'm just using it to kind of just keep things in sections or keep things in place. It's just a means to an end, and you can see I easily am able to part my hair without any fuss and any sections that are still in the way I just use the rat tail comb to kind of just push them to the side or push them out of the way it's really important that you really focus on getting your parts as neat and as clean as possible um, because it just makes the process entirely easier and makes it more worthwhile especially since you are doing it by yourself it just makes your braids a lot easier when you spend the time doing these steps to ensure sure that the braid is really really neat also you can see I'm taking out any hair that's in my edges just moving them out of the way you want to make sure that you also keep your braiding hair moisturized throughout this entire process and use your teeth as to help ensure that there's some tension in the hair while you're not pulling at your roots now this is also optional to seal your ends you can use some nail glue a lot of the hairstylists actually do this. I personally don't, but it's an option. You want to just continue working in those sections, moving one by one in an organized fashion as you are braiding. Now, I always braid the back sections first and then work on the two side sections before I decide to move to the front and top. This for me is the most organized way. I keep my hair moisturized throughout the entire braiding process. It's extremely important to keep your hair hydrated, especially because you're probably going to keep these braids in for something like four, six, maybe eight weeks. So your hair has to be adequately moisturized before it is put away in these braids. When you want to part your braiding hair, this is a part that a lot of people get confused in. You want to use whatever your dominant hand is. Mine is my right hand. So I'm going to use my right hand to part one half of whatever, however thick I want the braiding hair into two, leaving me with three strands. This is just another view so you can see that in my right side I have two strands hanging down. So once again, I just part the hair with my right hand into two. If I'm left handed, I would do this with my left hand. I'm gonna show you again you're gonna part it into two leaving you with three strands that you're going to use to braid your hair it's really that simple in terms of parting the hair once you have this parting down we can now move forward to understand exactly how to attach the braiding hair onto your hair in order to achieve optimally a neat braid for somebody who is doing this by themselves at home the same thing ensues you want to go ahead moisturize your hair however or with whatever it is you use to moisturize your hair you want to part your hair neatly okay as neatly as you possibly can sometimes you may not be able to see it just go as neatly as you can with your dominant hand I'm right-handed I'm gonna go ahead and part my right side into three strands now here is a trick to remember exactly what to do always under middle end becomes middle 
middle becomes end. Now, the direction in which you're going to start with depends on which hand you are dominant with. So since I am right-handed dominant, I'm going to start on my left side. Using my index finger on my left hand, I'm going always under the middle strand. The end becomes the middle and the middle is now an end piece. The same thing again, now using my right hand, always under the middle strand. The end piece now goes between my thumb and my index and the middle becomes end. Always under middle, end becomes middle, middle becomes end. Now let's do this again. You're gonna part your hair as neatly as possible, sectioning away what you don't need, moisturizing your hair as needed for each strand, parting your braiding hair into the three sections using your dominant hand to have the two half pieces. You have an end, a middle, and another end piece. I'm going to now split my natural hair into two pieces and I'm going to match each piece with the two split halves of my braiding hair. Okay, so that's exactly how you're going to attach it by matching the pieces up. You can see I've matched one half here to the end and I've matched the second half piece to the middle piece here. And so once again, you can now see you have the end pieces and the middle piece. And with my left hand first, because I'm right-handed, I'm going to go always under the middle. The end piece is going to become a middle piece by going in between my thumb and my index. And the middle piece is going to become the end. You can see I'm pulling taut here, but gently enough, but still making sure that there is enough tension. And once again, I'm gonna go always under the middle. The end is going to become the middle. And the middle piece is going to become the end. And this process just repeats continuously until I have enough of the braiding hair in there with tension. And then I can go ahead and continue braiding as I normally would. It's a three-stranded process, but it's super easy for you to get once you're able to achieve this process of attaching it onto the hair. Once again, we're gonna go through this. You part your hair, moisturize as needed, and then you're gonna go in and make sure that your braiding hair is sectioned with your right hand if you are right-handed, so you can have an end, a middle, and another end piece. You're going to part your natural hair into two sections and match those two half sections with the two split ha halves in your dominant hand. Like I just did right here. You can see I'm matching the pieces up right now. And now I'm going to start driving with my index finger on my left hand, always under the middle. The end piece becomes the middle piece and the middle piece becomes the end and once again driving with my right hand now always under the middle and becomes the middle and the middle piece becomes the end it's really simple it does take some practice but you will get it once you continue to make sure that you just recite this in your head and just remember to maintain tension throughout the entire process I'm gonna have you guys just watch this process from the beginning one more time as we put it all together. Parting my hair, moisturizing as needed, splitting my braiding hair once again with my right hand. If I was left-handed, I'd do this with my left hand. I'm matching the pieces up with the two half pieces of my natural hair going between the ones in my dominant hand. Always, always, always under the middle, end becomes the middle, and the middle becomes the end. This way, I'm able to do a super easy knot I'm able to keep it nice and neat, I'm able to maintain tension, and I don't have to stress too much. Mm -hmm. 
By the time I get to the front, it's really the same process. The only thing I want you guys to pay attention to here is the fact that my parts are extremely precise at this point. And you can see that I'm also making sure I'm not using too large, a, a, too small a section, excuse me, of hair because I don't want to rip out my edges I'm trying to be very careful you know that's something that's very common with braids you can end up ripping out your edges so use larger sections and be very delicate I promise this doesn't hurt I know my facial expression makes it seem like it hurts but I'm actually just visualizing my hands in my mind's eye Once again, I'm going to use my teeth for tension here because I do not want to pull out or put strain on my roots. This is very important. Now, just as important are the finishing touches when it does come to braiding your hair. You want to make sure that you are going in with shears to get rid of any flyaways. Trust me, this is extremely important if you want your style to look nice seven weeks down the line. Those flyaways only get worse if you see it while you're doing your hair get rid of it automatically i'm really taking the time here to show you guys exactly this process it takes me some time to actually do this because i really want to make sure i'm using a mirror to go in and anything i see that needs to go gotta go Secondly, this is something I did not show, but you want to dip your hair in hot water and massage your edges with a warm towel to loosen them up and make them free. And I'm going to show you guys why. Here you see a before shot of what my ends look like. They're limp, they're lifeless, they don't look like anything, they're stiff. Here is an after shot. Look at this movement. Stiff where? Not here. They are moving. The ends look amazing. In terms of aftercare, this is seven weeks later. You can see I have a lot of new growth in my hair. You can also see that some of my natural hair is starting to peek through, but the braids still look super nice and super neat, and the ends still look great as well. A reason why is because I was going in every two to three days to oil and moisturize my scalp. However, this can leave dandruff as you can see, um, but I am gonna show you exactly how to take care of that if you wanna leave these in longer. One part apple cider vinegar, three parts water, a few drops of lavender or peppermint. And you want to just spray this mixture onto a cotton pad and gently cleanse your scalp. And this will help make your style last longer. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something new here. Until next time, stay blessed and stay golden.